Hello everyone, this is Mohamed Saif from Rafael Language School, Tanta. Today we are going to continue our studying the poem I Wander Lonely as a Cloud. This poem was known as Daffodils and was written by William Wordsworth. The outcomes of this session will be understanding the meaning of this stanza, stanza number two, writing the paraphrase of this stanza, writing the rhyme scheme, and pick out the figures of a speech and the musical tools. Our poem was written by William Wordsworth. William Wordsworth was one of the leaders of the Romanticism, which was for the lovers of nature, and we will see that clear in this uh, poem. Please pause the video and read the poem once more. Now let's start studying stanza 2. At the first, we will uh, pick out a new vocab and understand the meaning of it. Continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way. Twinkle means giving light repeatedly on and off. Twinkle. On the Milky Way. Milky Way, it's the name of our galaxy. Galaxy which contains our solar system, our sun, and our planet, of course. They stretched a never ending line along the margin of a bay. Margin is the age, the age of something, but here the age of a bay. Bay means gulf. Gulf is a small area of sea surrounded by land, of course, except the exit of this area. 10,000 so I at a glance. Glance means a quick look. Quick look. Glance. Tossing their heads in sprightly dance. Tossing means raising something up. Tossing their heads means raising their heads up in a sprightly dance. Sprightly means beautiful way. Sprightly dance, a beautiful dance. If you ask it in the exam to write a paraphrase of this stanza, you will use your own words to express the meaning of the lines. But this is just a model. You can use some vocab of it or you can use some sentences of it. The paraphrase of stanza 2 can be The poet goes on in describing the daffodils as they were shining continuously like stars in our galaxy. They were lying in a very long line which you cannot see its end along the edge of the gulf. He could see about 10,000 in one lock. They were raising up their heads in a beautiful dance. This is just a model. You can uh, express the meaning of the stanza using your own words. Now let's go to the rhyme scheme of the second stanza. The last symbol we used in the first stanza was C. So let's complete or continue. Shine, the last word in the first line here. Shine is a new sound, so we will give it a new letter. It will be D. Way. It's a new 
sound so it will be e line line like shine shine line the same sound so it will take the same symbol it will d bay like way the same it will be the same symbol also it will e glance dance it's a new sound so it will be a new symbol so it will f f so if you uh, were asked in the exam to to write the rhyme scheme so it will be d e d e f f now let's go to the figures of a speech in the first line continuous as the stars that shines continuous as the stars that shines here he likens something like or as the stars what is this something it's the daffodils of course so I will say or I will write I have here a figure it's called simile and this line continuous as the stars that shine and I will explain these figures and I will say the boat likens daffodils to stars there is another figure in this stanza tithing their heads and sprightly dance as we know tithing means raising something up here we say that tithing their heads and sprightly dance or in a beautiful dance this figures is called personification the poet gives the daffodils the image of people who can dance or who raise their heads and dance okay now let's move to the devices or the musical tools I have in this stanza a musical tool called alliteration. Alliteration means the initial sound of words. Look here in the first line, continuous as the stars that shine. The, that, they have the same initial sound. So. I have here alliteration in the word there and that to give music to appeal our sense of hearing. Now I ask you to test yourself. This is the stanza number two. Uh, and I have two questions on this stanza. Please answer the, uh, these questions and check your answer after that. After watching this video, if you have any questions, please write it on the comment box. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends and click on subscribe button. It's important for me to make more videos for you. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.